Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Wednesday, August 31st. It's the 15th week after Pentecost, and it's week two in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 101, Acts chapter 12, verse 18 to 25. And now please join me in singing verse 3 of Psalm 95 <clears throat> to the tune of St. Columba. Now come and worship and bow down and kneel before our Maker. For you're our God and we your flock, the people of your pasture. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O oh, merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, I sing of mercy and justice. To you, my God, I sing. Hallelujah, Psalm 101. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah, I sing of mercy and justice. To you, my God, I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk within my house with a sincere heart. I will set no wicked things before my eyes. I hate the work of them that stray from your paths. They shall not be my friends. I will disown the wicked. The false-hearted must stay away from me. I will cut off those who secretly slander their neighbors. I will not tolerate those that have a haughty look and a proud heart. My eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. Those that walk in a perfect way shall be my friends and serve me. Any that work the seat shall not dwell within my house. Any that tell lies shall not stand in my sight. In the morning I will destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all evildoers from your holy city. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I sing of mercy and justice. To you, my God, I sing. Hallelujah. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, beginning at verse 18. Now, when morning came, there was no small commotion among the soldiers over what had become of Peter. When Herod had searched for him and could not find him, he examined the guards and ordered them to be put to death. And then he went down from Judea to Caesarea, and he stayed there. Now Herod was angry with the people of Tyre and Sidon, and so they came to him in a body, and after winning over Blastus, the king's chamberlain, they asked for a reconciliation, because their country depended on the king's country for food. On an appointed day, Herod put on his royal robes, took his seat on the platform, and delivered a public address to them. The people kept shouting, the voice of a god and not of a mortal. And immediately, because he had not given the glory to God, an angel of the Lord struck him down, and he was eaten by worms and died. 
But the word of God continued to advance and gain adherence. And then after completing their mission, Barnabas and Saul returned to Jerusalem and brought with them John, whose other name was Mark. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray in the words our Savior taught us. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, give us grace seriously to lay to heart the great dangers we are in by our unhappy divisions. Take away all hatred and prejudice, and whatever else may hinder us from godly union and concord. That is, there is but one body and one spirit, one hope of our calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all. So we, so we may be all of one heart and of one soul, united in one holy bond of truth and peace, of faith and charity, and may with one mind and one mouth glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.